Yeah. Ready? Yeah. How y'all doing? Welcome to our little, uh, whatever it is, <laughs> our little soiree, I guess you could call it. Is that what you would call it? I don't know. But uh, we're going to play a little blues for you. I promise we're not going to repeat any songs from last time. We might have some requests. We will only play requests that we know. <laughs> anyway, nice to be seen. Are we going? It's not going on my main page yet. Oh, it is. I just We're going? Yeah, I just kind of get the screen. Facebook, you change your settings all the time, and I can never find it. I blame it on Facebook. I just want to find it to make sure that it's actually there. It doesn't show up on my page, but it's... There it is. Yeah. Ooh, there yeah. It is. There it is. <laughs> anyway, if y'all didn't right. hear me, we're good. Welcome. <laughs> we're gonna start out, of course, with a little song by the great Jimmy Rogers. It's a song that's on my new um, album, the Big Tone Sessions on MC Records, and it goes just like this. Here we go. A one. Two, a one, two. <laughs> Got something to tell you soon as I get a chance. If I can't be a regular, I'd be a fool to be a man. This is the last time. This is the last time. This is the last time, baby. I'm gone. Food around with you Treat you nice and kind Every way I could I found out You don't mean me no good This is the last time This is the last time This is the last time Baby I'm gone Ever fool around with you
good sound out there, everybody. One of those uh, first song jitters. <laughs> you got 64 people watching already, man. So that's why I had. Let's do that one. Let's do that sitting and waiting. This was on the. I wrote this song a long time ago. It's one of the first songs I ever wrote, actually, and uh, we put it on Rusty's Inn's very first record yeah. on uh, Blacktop. Remember Hammond Scott being there? Hi Hammond, if you're watching. Hi Hammond, and uh, we had a great time doing that record. We had old Richard and uh, who else was in on that? I don't think Larry was on that. But uh, Rusty, me, who else? I can't remember. Anyway, it goes like this. Kind of a rock and roller. It goes like this. One, two, one, two. <laughs>
song one of my first ones ever and it's one of those things where you you think of a song and if you remember it it's pretty good so I, I remembered it all this time <laughs> what do you say we do uh, a little thing in E again a little thing called take a little walk with me here we go. One, two, one, two, three. <laughs>
down the old avenue I got some baby I want you to do Come on Take a little walk with me Back to that same old place Memphis, Tennessee Take a little walk. <laughs> Can't do much else. But uh, we got a little setup at the house, you know. We get we get out there and we'll. I got a little my whole little home gym set up now, and it's it's uh, we got a beautiful home. My wife is very very forgiving. <laughs> <laughs> my wife's all world. And I'm, I'm so happy that I found her, believe me. So let's do uh, a little Howlin' Wolf song that we recorded over here at Nathan's. Uh, been quite a while now since we recorded that, but uh, we did uh, a couple, two or three Howlin' Wolf songs back then. We had old Richard Ennis and Larry Taylor and Barrel House Chuck playing on that stuff. These guys I've got here are pretty incredible. And they're all over my new record also, actually. Marty Dotson on the drums, the masked man. <laughs> Troy Sando on the bass. And of course, the illustrious Nathan James on the guitar. We're going to do a little thing for you right now called Howlin' for My Darling. Here we go. One, two, a one, two, three. <laughs> Sweet, 
howling, calling on my darling. She make the lights go out Early in the morning She make me jump and shout That battle if she got Make me laugh and cry Make me really know I'm too young to die If you hear me howling Calling on my darling That was pretty much unrehearsed. <laughs> uh, I think they did a fantastic job. I, I even remember the words. That was incredible. <laughs> so, let's try. Uh, I know. Let's try another little thing that we did. We, we've never played this stuff live. A little thing called Good Times in the Hayfield. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's F, right? That's an F, right? Yeah. One, two, one. <laughs> Thank you. 
Good Times in the Hayfield. That's what that one's called. Yeah. <laughs> Let's do a, I tell you what. Let's do a blues right now. Yeah. Let's do uh Another little Jimmy Rogers number. I know old Fred Pitt, Fred Pittman, he's gonna like this one because he loved he loved Big Jimmy. And uh, nobody loved him more than I did though. And do. <laughs> so from the five. What piece? In L. Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> one. Two. One. Two, three. In the evening, after the sun goes down. Tell me, I'm the sweetest man in town. I got a little woman, she got money, marbles, and jaw. Bought me a fine Cadillac man, that's why I don't have to walk. But in the evening, after the sun goes down, you know the women they tell me I'm the sweetest man in town. As sweet as she can be. Want the whole world to know she's all right with me. But in the evening, after the sun goes down, you know the women all tell me. I'm the sweetest man in town.
Andrus, let me tell you something. He was quite a character. <laughs> he got me into a lot of trouble. <laughs> and uh, his favorite saying was, get one for you and one for me. <laughs> and that would happen until it's all gone. <laughs> I got a couple good stories that I can't really uh, wait for the book. <laughs> I want to do an original for you now. It's a thing uh, in B. That baby don't love me no more. You know that one? Whoa. Remember? Remember, Marty? Here we go. One, two, one, two, three. <laughs> out on the box set. <laughs> and that was one that we just kind of made up in the studio, I think, right? I yeah. mean, it was uh, one of those things where we sat in here for 
days on end cutting 15, 20, 25, 30 tracks a day. <laughs> and uh, that may sound pretty ridiculous, but it's true. I mean, it, it was so easy for all of us to do that uh, and we were having such a good time doing it. We just said, well, let's just keep going. <laughs> Here's a little thing off an old span record on Testament in A, little two beat thing. From the five. One, two, one, two, one, two. <laughs> About a year ago today. On the city welfare, still taking my money, paying me for a square. Keep your hand out of my pocket when I go to bed. Keep your hand out of my pocket, baby. Whoa, I crack. Told me that you love me, I believe you do. Hand out of my pocket, mom. Well, where we are to keep your hand out of my pocket when I go to bed. Keep your hand out of my pocket, woman. Baby, something you don't expect Won't be no money Bet you won't be no check Keep your hand out of my pocket, baby Yeah, when I go to bed
kind of a variation, one of them, that thing that uh, Otis Spann did on that Testament record with Cotton on it. That's a hell of a record if you don't have it. Yeah. They, they have it on CD now. I love that. When I first heard that stuff, that stuff by James Cotton on that Otis Spann record and on that uh, Johnny Young record, I turned my wife on to that Johnny Young record. We were up, up there in uh, at Down Home Music. And I said, oh, you got to have this. And she just fell in love with it, and she plays it all the time. <laughs> Some of the most low-down stuff you ever heard in your life. And, and Cotton is <laughs> ridiculous on that record. Ridiculous. All right. Back to upright? <laughs> Let's do something in D. I believe this is an Eddie Boyd song. Um, Jasmine just came out with a, a very complete Eddie Boyd two CD set. Got more Eddie Boyd than you're ever going to want to hear in your life. Uh, Eddie Boyd was a great, great musician. He had some hit records. Yeah, and uh, I believe this is one of them. On the one. One, two, three. <laughs> If you've ever been mistreated Baby, you know what I'm talking about I walked five long years for one woman She had the nerve to put me out. Oh, I got a job in a steel mill, chuck and steel like a slave. Every Friday, I came straight home with all my pain. Yes, I've been mistreated. Baby, you know what I'm talking about. She had the nerve, she had the nerve to put me out.
listen. A long time ago, the next woman I marry, she's gonna work. Work and bring me some dough. I've been mistreated. Baby, you know, you know, you know what I'm talking about. I work five long years for one woman. She had the nerve to put me out. At least 108 people out there. There's people out there. Well, we like to hear that. Visualize we like to hear there's people out there. You can visualize them any way you want. <laughs> Let's go to F. I'm going to switch guitars here. I'm going to do a little song right now that uh, this is another one I made up in the studio back in the uh, Antones days on. Uh, I believe this is on That's Life. But uh, there's, a story, there's a story to this song, and it's not what you think it is. <laughs> Do you think it's about a man and a woman? But this is about actually a former employee of mine. Wow. It's a long story. <laughs> I had just fired him, and I said, don't let me see you on that bus tomorrow. <laughs> so we had this old guy driving a bus named Grandpa. He used to drive George Jones. <laughs> and he was, I don't know what he was on. I, he might have been on the Natch. <laughs> he was a bus driver. So the guy comes on the bus. I'm not even going to say who it was. And he's got all his stuff. And he, he gets in between the, where the driver is and where the people are. And he stays there like on the landing there, you know. And he looks at Grandpa and he says, Grandpa, what do you think about all this? Grandpa said, well, I got one thing to tell you, son. Don't bite the hand that feeds you. That's the name of the song. In F. One, a two, a one, a two. <laughs> Well, don't bite the hand that 
feed you. Don't bite the hand and feed you. No, no, no. song um, I had the idea in my head but when I got in the studio I just kind of was winging it and it all sounded so good it just happened you know pretty cool 
And it's always nice when that kind of stuff can happen, right? You know, you guys know all about that. So let's do, uh, I got an idea. Did we do Buddy Buddy Friends yet? No. no. I don't think so. <laughs> it's a good idea. A.C. Reed. I remember when A.C. Reed used to play with Albert Collins back in the day. And uh, A.C. Reed's drink was scotch and milk. And he drank those a lot, big ones. And A.C. Reed is an incredible performer. I don't know if you know about A.C. Reed. I'm sure a lot of y'all who are watching this know about A.C. Reed. But he, he wrote some really cool songs. He had a great sense of humor. This is one of those songs. It's a little funky thing. Let's take it on the one. One, a two, a one, two, three, four. <laughs> hey, got lots of money, lots of phony friends. I, I got lots of women. I can buy lots of gin. I know every guy in this town, but when my money runs out, I won't have these friends I'm talking about. I'll go to these boogaloo clubs. You know I'll walk right on in. Everybody knows me by the money that I spend. I know what See somebody's using for me. If you know good friends, I'm talking. Actually, the first time I heard that song was on a Charlie Musselwhite record. I think it's on Stand Back. Yeah. And uh, that was a good version, too. Yeah. Then I heard A.C. Reed's version, and A.C. Reed just, whoa, what? <laughs> he has also got that song called I'm in the Wrong Business. <laughs> That's a really good one. Uh, 
in B in uh, E flat. Oh yeah, <laughs> edgy. You can play that one. That's yeah. fine. Just get four chords and sing. Uh, I'm not against the name. Touch down. Here we go. It's called edgier. <laughs> one, two, a one, two, a one, two. <laughs>
Bryce Miller, Bryce Miller is one of my favorite guys. I think he made some of the greatest sounding records. Of course, we had Muddy Waters and all those guys playing on it. <laughs> and so, yeah, but a lot and a lot of that stuff, like "Don't Start Me Talking" and stuff like that. But uh, Bryce Miller, he had a very distinct style, and of course, he called himself Sonny Boy Williamson. Which we know him as Sonny Boy Williamson number two, because he stole the original Sonny Boy's <laughs> name. So great, man. I, but uh, for some reason, I didn't don't seem to mind that. <laughs> he's great, great, great. The voice, the lyrics. I mean, you can tell he's making up a lot of the stuff in the studio, and uh, that's where you get that vibe from. You know, making all that stuff up in there. Um, he was a, he was a real character too, you know. I mean, I heard some stories about. Uh, there's a story, a buddy guy told me about. Uh, buddy guy was playing at this new club in Chicago. Bear with me now. It's kind of a long story, but. And it was kind of a club. Gambling house, bordello. And people slept there too, and, so he was working this place. And the guy said, well, what about some of these old guys, man, like uh, Muddy Waters and Howlin' Wolf and uh, Sonny Boy Williamson? Oh, but the guy says, oh, I can get you, Sonny Boy. Okay, great. So they call up Sonny Boy or got a hold of him somehow. I'm sure he had a phone. <laughs> but uh, Sonny Boy agrees to play. He comes in the day of the show at 11 a.m., and starts drinking. <laughs> now, about 2 o'clock came around, and the owner calls up Buddy Guy and says, Hey, man, this guy has just finished his first bottle. He's working on his second bottle. And, uh, you know, and, and Buddy Guy goes, That's Sonny Boy Williamson, motherfucker. What are you talking about? He's going to be great. So he gets to the club about 6 o'clock, Buddy Guy does. There's, there's Rice Miller, Sonny Boy Williamson with all of his harps and a knife on a table laid out, and, and his bottle, of course. Well, he's well into his second bottle. In fact, he might be on his third. I don't remember. But, you know, Buddy Guy goes, man, he must be really high right now. So he goes up to Sonny Boy and says, hey, man, are you going to be okay for the show or something like that? And Sonny Boy looks at him and says, listen, motherfucker, I'm going to be on that bandstand way after you get down. So, okay. So buddy guy goes up to take a nap, and he wakes up to Sonny Boy playing already downstairs, right? He gets up with Sonny Boy, runs up, jumps off the stage, and uh, they play for like three or four hours straight without stopping. And Buddy Guy said it was some of the heaviest stuff he ever played in his life. Finally, the gig's over. He goes, gets off the stage, up there doing whatever he does, you know, chasing girls or gambling or whatever he was doing at that time. He was a pretty young guy. And... Uh, Goes to sleep. He wakes up at 8 o'clock in the morning to Sonny Boy playing. So he walks downstairs, and there's Sonny Boy playing to the bartender. And Buddy Guy's like, his chin's on the floor. And Sonny Boy looks up, up at him and says, I told you, motherfucker. <laughs> Thank you, buddy, for that story. Here's a Rice Miller one. I hope I can do it justice after that story. In A, from the five. One, two, three, four. <laughs> So sad to be lonesome. Too much I can in your 
fun to be alone. So sad to be lonesome. Too much to be alone. Yeah, but it make a man feel so good when his baby. Come home at night. You walk the floor from door to door, wringing your hands and crying. Cause you know you won't be seeing her no more. It's so sad, so sad to be lonesome. Received a letter from my baby. I received a telegram. Then she called me up long distance, wanting to know where well, I am. It's so sad to be lost. Too much unconditioned to be alone.
that works on my stuff for me. His name is Joe Felisco up there in Joliet, Illinois. And uh, I don't think y'all should bother calling him because he's too busy. <laughs> he, he's working on people's stuff. It takes a long time to get these things to play right. Then you can let them sit and then you retune them, you know. 
it, it used to be that you would toss a harmonica away, and that was, I could have bought several really nice saxophones <laughs> in the first five years I was playing, right? But uh, now, my harmonica tech, who's also an incredible musician, by the way, he's in, well, he can do stuff on a harmonica I never heard anybody do. It's pretty incredible. But uh, he fixes them and sends them back to me. It's a pretty nice thing to have a guy like that. I think I got in on the ground floor, floor with Joe. You know, I think he, he was, uh, he sent me, I remember he sent me a bunch of things. Anyway, enough of that. <laughs> Let's do a little, uh, another Jimmy Rogers song. This is for you, Fred. Uh, it's in F. One of my favorite Jimmy Rogers songs. <laughs> Take your place, but that ain't it.
How about this great band, y'all? Give them a big round of applause from your couch. Yeah. Don't spill your popcorn. Here we go. One, <laughs> two, one, two, three. <laughs> Dodson on the drums. This is the place where we started that whole thing. Yep. Yeah. Right in this little section, the Studio A. Studio A. <laughs> Studio B's living room. Yep. <laughs> but we had 
we came in here. Nate said, come on down here. I won't charge you too much. <laughs> and I said to myself, I said, well, if I don't like it, uh, I may not come back. Are you kidding me? I cut 25 tracks that day. <laughs> you were here, Marty. It was me, you, and Big John, and Nathan. And they would play bass, switch off on the bass. Pretty cool. So let's do, I got an idea. Let's do Play Me. You can play that. In G. You take off on the top, Nathan. Here we go. One, two, one, two, three. <laughs>
Another thing about the late great guy who taught them all pretty much, Big Macy on Mayweather. Goes like this. <laughs> As any poor man can be I used to smoke cigars The very best in town But bad luck and trouble Is bound to tear me down it's too bad Things are going so tough with me I'm gonna go back to my pa It is star I used to have a car And it was painted white and black People, I used to have a car And it was painted white and black COVID and couldn't make up the payments and the man he took it back
says that's all. <laughs> they used to tell us, you don't have to go home, but you can't stay here. Let's let's go to uh, let's go to F. A little thing that George Harmonica Smith did is pretty fast. Well, hopefully, I can do it. <laughs> one, a two, a one, a two, a one, two, three. <laughs> so much for tuning in ladies and gentlemen send some donations to the band because we you need get the it PayPal in there? your paypal should be there and if there's problems then uh contact one of us and we'll figure it out thank you so much once again ladies and gentlemen ah, the crowd goes wild <laughs> all right the paypal is in there all right I th it should be yes <laughs> Nobody has said it wasn't, so. Nice, fellas. <coughs> that was fun. <laughs> 